All right, guys, I'm going to give you all a little sticker tutorial here, step by step. So, um, some of this you're going to have to learn on your own a little bit. But first of all, here's my, uh, I'm in Cameo, I'm in the, sorry, Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus. Um, I'm using the software here. We got it set up on the 12 inch. Yeah, the normal mat for the Cameo 4, not the 4 Plus mat. And I've got the cut lines already on there. So if you zoom in, you can see the cut lines in red. that are right here. That's where I wanted to cut at. When I send it over to the cutter, it shows what my cut lines are going to be. I put extra blue around it so that basically there's a print bleed. I don't use the bleed option because it doesn't work well. I add extra blue around it in the design software. I'm using very, very basic stuff right now because I don't have anything fancy. So I need to go ahead and put some paper in there. I'm about to print this one. Let's go over here. Put some paper in it. I didn't have any ready right now. So you don't watch me do that. Feed in one sheet at a time so that it doesn't get jammed up. It's just the way I've always done it. Right. I'll just use my other printer so it thinks it's on my other print settings. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna print this one off. All right, now it's got to go on the drying rack and it needs to dry for, I would say, at least eight hours. If you can let it dry for longer than that, it's better. So, I usually don't stack these, but those other ones have been dry for quite a long time. I have over a hundred already printed out. All right, so I've got all my um, sticker pages printed out. I let them dry overnight. Usually I already have a bunch of laminate sheets cut, but the next step would be to laminate them. So I'm going to start to cut my laminate sheets here. I buy them on a big roll. I forget it. I forget. I think it's 150 feet. I forget exactly. Cut these guys down. Alright, so take my sticker sheet and grab a cut piece of laminate that's already the right size for it. I'll flip down like the first inch and a half. Line it up to make sure it covers the bottom and you can see through it. So you can see where it's going to be at. I'll hold the top edge up so it doesn't touch. I always try to set it down up above any of the image so it doesn't accidentally bubble where the image is. I usually just do this by hand. Just quicker and easier. I mean if there's bubbles up there it doesn't really matter. It can interfe uh, interfere with the registration marks if you're not careful. Put in the laminator. Pull the paper back. <coughs>
Okay, it's ready for me to load the media. Let's see. tape got stuck and if anything gets stuck when it's registering if it even has the slightest bit of a uh, little mess up I like to redo it all right so that looks good I'm gonna hit send See how you can see a little bit on on the side when it's registering. That's what you want to see. That looks like it's cutting exactly where I want it to, in the middle of the blue line. I added a little bit extra to kind of act like a print bleed. When I use the actual print bleed, it doesn't look good. I don't like it. Well, this tape didn't work out. I just need to get that out of the way. I'm going to set this camera down to fix that real quick. registration or not let me look at this mm-hmm I need to fix those lines. I don't like the cut lines. I'm going to have to go into the computer and fix them. It's not horrible, but it's not perfect. So, it's thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. I don't know. I'd like to fix that. Here's an example here. Okay, so the bottom is very thin, at the top is thicker. Alright, what I did was actually I redid all the cut lines. I have my original one here. I created a new page. I redid all the cut lines and kept everything in the same position. I had my registration marks. I make sure they're the same on both. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Let me try this out. Let's see how this works.
so I think I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more. It's getting better, but still not there. Okay, so this is my third try of adjusting the cut lines. Yep, that's where I want it. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's supposed to look all weathered and like hand drawn. I asked for a better graphic at first, and when he gave me the digital version, I was like, oh, that's how it's supposed to look. Blue line is a lot better around the outside. I noticed that when you do the auto outline on Cameo, and this is, I'm just going to tell y'all my little uh, trial and error here and what I found out, is that when you do the auto, um, just the outline, it doesn't actually do it perfectly. You have to go in there and adjust it and make sure that the margins are correct. It doesn't make perfect margins. So when you get them when they're cut like this and they're not, they're not perfect, it's not because of misregistration, or at least not mostly. It's because the cut line isn't put in there perfectly. All right, so my bad. Battery died earlier, but I went ahead and, and uh, bagged this up with my bag sealer and a little two mil poly bag that I use. And then I left some extra material here. Um, I printed out a little label with my Epson C6500. I'm gonna put this on here and fold it over. I need to trim the plastic real quick to make it fit properly. But I'll do that real quick.
that down a little bit, change it up just slightly, but that's good, I like it. So, that's the way it looks right here. Ready to go.